Climate change represents an unprecedented threat to developing countries. They're not only more vulnerable, but are also more severely exposed to the extreme phenomena that climate change is likely to accentuate. In Burkina Faso, average temperatures in the Sahel region have increased by almost one and a half degrees over three decades. By 2050, the increase may have risen to 3.5 degrees. Each year, 20,000 hectares of forest disappear. Yet the forests are an essential element in climate regulation. Moreover, they're home to a biodiversity essential to man, and it would be economically and morally irresponsible to allow them to disappear completely. The European Commission supports the Trofka project, tropical forests and climate change adaptation, a project with an innovative approach since it aims to identify adaptation solutions in the field with the help of local inhabitants. The project involves local actors such as the University of Ouagadougou. The idea is to reinforce the capacity of the country's university structures to do research on climate change. One of Trofka's objectives is to build capacity in climate change issues. And the way we build our capacity is training of these students. So we identify some topics for them that is linked to, to the project. And we ask them to go to the field and collect information, which we use in our vulnerability analysis. Like most countries faced with the effects of climate change, Senegal is working on a national adaptation plan. When we were working on the adaptation to climate change program, we worked with the population. The ideas for the projects I've talked to you about were suggested by them. It was they who told us we had to find the means to fight desertification, deforestation, land salination. In each case, they were the ones to highlight the problems, bring them to us, to the experts. We worked with them to try to find the best adapted solution. Development of countries in the north is responsible for climate change, but it's the development of those in the south that is most likely to suffer. The southern populations will also have to make the greatest efforts to adapt. The director of ENDA believes that this should make us more aware of our responsibilities. Jean-Philippe Thomas works for a development aid NGO. For him, adapting a developing country to climate change above all implies the preparation and adaptation of its people. The important thing is to reduce emissions in the north. It's not enough to simply distribute funds to help adaptation or development. The northern countries must reduce their emissions. In the time it took to broadcast this report, nearly 500,000 tons of CO2 have been released into the world's atmosphere.